Always choose the ugly truth and never a pretty lie. And just like that, gang, gang, we up in this thing. <laughs> and, all right, so I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, I hope everybody, um, we have given y'all like a good 11 minutes. I played some music at the beginning. Hopefully, everybody that wants to be tuned in is tuned in at this point because it is about to get real. Y'all, don't laugh at me if I start crying too because, y'all, I'm telling y'all, this has been a lot. And I'm saying this has been a journey like I still don't got forever to go, but it's been a journey. But I ain't gonna lie, it's very good to have friends to run to, to cry to, to be like, girl, do your knees hurt? Girl, do your ankles hurt? So, you know, we about to get into all of this. So, um, I'm gonna start to the left, to the left. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself <laughs> for me? Y'all know I'm goofy. Well, you know I'm goofy. Uh, I'm Macari, Macari here. <laughs> Okay, no, no, this is where you get the, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, tell me about yourself, who so, you are. So, um, my name's Bakari. I have sickle cell SS, which is the full-blown disease. Uh, I pretty much have been going through it my whole life. Um, I'm going to be very honest. Living with sickle cell is not easy. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what you're going through, who you're going through it with. I want y'all to know that it's not going to be an easy journey. But as long as you surround yourself with the right people, as long as you always do what you need to do to take care of yourself because everybody's not going to be understanding and it took a long time for me to understand that honestly um i'm only 22 so i can't speak for <laughs> anyone else but i do know once i start surrounding myself with the right crowd and really just understanding my sickle cell and what i was going through because everyone at this table we all probably go through totally different things when it comes to our sickle cell yeah. and once you really understand you and your triggers it makes it easier to deal with Okay, well, I'm going to just slow you down a little bit because I just wanted to buy you about you first. She didn't gave us a little yeah, summary about, about sickle cell already, because but we... we, we I'm going to be honest, I go by the warrior, so when it comes to me, I'm, my whole life is just right. sickle cell, sickle cell this, sickle cell that, so I... My bio is sickle cell. For me. I mean, well, I want to <laughs> know, you know, where you from? I'm from Do Houston. you got siblings? You know... Um, all right, Where did all right. you come I'm from? from Houston, guys. Um, I'm originally from the south side, but I have been raised on the north side. Don't okay. get twisted, though, but I am from the south side. From the south side. <laughs> okay, I thought you were from the north side. Nah, I'm a south side, baby. Um, I got three siblings. Two of them are older than me. Uh, one of them is younger than me, but we all girls. So, no brothers, but all the brothers that I do have now are the brothers that I've met over time. Okay. Um, as I've gotten older, and these are guys who understand my situation and are willing to be there for me through hard times. Um, okay. Very outgoing. I'm jack of all trades when it comes to anything business wise. I'm literally all over the place. You can ask Tay. <laughs> literally, you got a book three weeks ahead of time. Y'all think I'm busy? Tuh. Uh, Tuh. I try. I try to slow down sometimes, you guys, but you know I can't help it. I'm always all over the place. Um, I'm always trying to help somebody that is just me i'm okay. a very helping motivating person that's why i go by motivation mommy okay now that there we go we got the bio <laughs> y'all said she was sick of selling living my, my life ain't that like, hold on girl <laughs> she ready okay now to the right of me um who are you what's your name that yeah, what you do you done took everything but um <laughs> my name is simone again um I've, I've been a little bit of everywhere. I was born in Ohio. I was raised in California. Okay. Um, I came out here to go to uh, school. So I've been out here for a minute now. Um, but uh, I was diagnosed with sickle cell when I was one. So I spent my first birthday in the hospital. So y'all going to keep just going into my questions, uh, right? Yes. All right. Y'all yes. just ain't going to even let me. Y'all see how they not going to let me ask my questions? They getting straight into it. So what else you want to know? I ain't going to lie though, y'all. Like, our right. show did get put off like a week away. Like, we've been waiting on this. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, we. I guess all we all need right. to know is their name. This is Magaria and this <laughs> is Simone. And we about to get straight into this interview. Point blank, period. <laughs> so... 
if you are on here to get educated, here you go. So you want live, you want live, and let's get this thing popping. So sickle cell is an inherited disease in which the red blood cells have an abnormal crescent shape, block, block small blood vessels, and do not last as long as normal red blood cells. Sickle cell disease is caused by a mutation change in one of the genes for hemoglobin, the substance inside your red blood cell that binds to oxygen and carries it from the lungs to the tissues. So a couple facts that I had found were one out of 13 African Americans has sickle cell. Studies also say that the only cure for sickle cell disease is to have a bone marrow transplant and people with sickle cell trait cannot Sickle cell, sickle cell trait cannot get the sickle cell disease. So, just like that, we're about to get into it. So, uh, we started left, so we're going to start to the right. <laughs> All right. Now, give me your sickle cell, sickle cell. Y'all, this is like a tongue to tongue. tongue, tongue. tongue. Yeah. Sickle cell, sickle cell. Sickle cell. <laughs> give me your, y'all, I'm getting tired of saying this. I'm getting my sickle cell. <laughs> Give me your uh, sickle cell story. I, I, you was getting ready at one. At one yeah. what? I, I mean, I, I spent my first birthday in the hospital at one. So that's okay. when they found out that I was diagnosed. Um, I also have SS, which is like, it's kind of like the the most severe form of it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, didn't, I have many sickle cell stories as far as hospitals is concerned. Uh, just like really being in and out my whole life. So you said you was um, diagnosed when you was one? Yeah. Okay. So I guess the first thing that I first need to do is tell everybody the different kinds of sickle cell before I start asking you guys questions. And I have that in my notes. So, um, me? Oh. So there are many different kinds. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. And like I said, if y'all have anything where y'all want to buddy in, because this be a learning experience for me too. I don't know if y'all tuned in last week or not, but I did mental health um, because it was, it's Suicide Awareness uh, Month also. Mm -hmm. And I was very educated. Like y'all, I was on zip mouth majority of the time. So anytime y'all want to jump in, y'all are more than welcome to. But um, the types of sickle cell disease that I have found before we get started, I found hemoglobin SS, hemoglobin SC, Hemoglobin SB plus, hemoglobin SB, hemoglobin SD, SESO. Is that all of them? Um, um I think that was on here. Yeah. They have AA as well. Okay, that one not on here. Okay, so basically, y'all, um, if you go on the True Tuesday page, I'm not gonna break down each and every one of them. Um, I'm quite sure the ladies will speak on them. Um, but if you go on there, I have on the page, it, it says types of sickle cell diseases. And just here alone, I'm looking at, uh, I think it's like eight right here. And then Macari also said that they missing one. So, um, you can definitely get on the page to educate yourself. So, um, those are the different types of sickle cells. So Macari, I want to ask you in more detail, what is, what type of sickle cell do you have? Um, I have SS. So okay. So you have, severe. okay. So break it down. Get me into it. Um, whew, that one, that one's a one to break down for. Um, honestly, when it comes to saying it's most severe, a lot of people used to tell me I was being dramatic when I would say things like it's almost like stage four cancer. Because when you, because when people look at us, they just assume that we're supposed to look like we're sick. Yes. Like, oh, you don't look like you're sick. Oh, so, yeah. right. and that's frustrating. So. I would always compare it to stage four cancer. Like, okay, think of somebody with stage four cancer. Think of them at their worst. Now that's me at my worst some days. Some days. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, there are times where I literally feel like I can't do anything at all. Like Correct. I'm just laying in the bed and I'm just there. And there are times where I cry to my mom and it's just like, I don't know how, <laughs> how are people doing this? Like right. how are people living and surviving daily in this much pain? Like Correct. it's okay. You know, if it's just here and there, but then it takes a, a mental toll as well. Because now I have to teach myself to not only deal with this pain, but mask this pain as well. Because not everyone wants to be around someone who's constantly sick. Correct. Yeah. And dealing with SS, you're constantly sick. Like there's, 
I feel like there's never a moment where I'm not sick. Like sitting in this chair right now, I'm in pain, but I'm okay. Okay, so then my my question is, um, and I just want to let y'all know that I have, um, as we speak, both of these ladies have SS. Um, I have trait, but like I always talk to uh, Macaria. I feel like, baby, I be going through the same thing as somebody that got SS. But my question is, what is the difference from SS in the in the other ones? Because I do always read that SS is just like the like top of the chart honestly we just our bodies are more sensitive okay so we're we're more prone to get into a crisis right okay and for for us sometimes it lasts longer okay um it's more severe it can attack like a simple pain crisis could turn into i've had my simple pain crisis turn into acute chest syndrome that fast yeah. and scared just completely scared the whole life out of me like I thought I was literally about to lose my life. And I didn't think that, you know, SS was that bad. But as you get older, you realize, like, okay, it does get that bad. Like, there are moments where we can, okay, we're used to the, the tough pain because it does, it's excruciating pain. Like, it's, it's pain to the point to where it feels like your bones are breaking in little tiny pieces. Girl, like, I tell, I explain that. I, it feels like my bones is like, uh, like grinding against yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. There are times where I'm literally like in so much pain. Like, um, I have ADN in my hip as well. A okay. lot of people that I also know that have. Ooh, um, y'all about to make me, y'all, it's my, around the time of my month. So like, I'm going to start crying. Please don't. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> we just getting started. Like, dang. Okay. You worry. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, um, they have ABN in many different spots of their body. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm blessed to only have it in one spot. Yeah, mine's is just in my hip, and that's just in one hip. So I'm blessed to have it in that one spot. Um, but um, I have a group chat as well, and I ask them where did everyone have ABN. Uh, one of the girls, she has ABN in her shoulder and her hip. Um, she has ABN in her wrist, which was a weird spot. Mm -hmm. And can you say exactly what that is? Avascular necrosis. Okay. So it's, um, I would basically describe it like basically kind of having a gap. Like your bone, it don't, it doesn't meet. It wasn't fully developed when okay. you were born. Okay. So that causes a toll on your sickle cell yeah. as well. Yeah. It's like your bones are like deteriorating. Yeah. And, and the flow of, like your veins are very small in those areas and the blood flow is very minimal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and I don't mean to cut you off, but if I forget this question, it's going to bug me because I want to ask this. Do y'all ever have like, like circulation cutoffs? Like, like where like, it basically feels like it sometimes. <laughs> like, like, no, I just, because last year I had my first experience where like my, like all right here turned purple and like, I could tell like it was no circulation, yeah, yeah, yeah. but by the time they pulled my arm out of my jacket, the blood flow was going. So it was like, it just lost flow for like a couple minutes. And I'm just like, well, this is new. I ain't never. Yeah. Um, honestly with SS, I kind of describe it like that. I describe a pain crisis that way. Basically oh, I tell people like, it's okay. literally like no blood is flowing yet. Oh, that's why we, that's why our pain is so excruciating because it's, there's like little to none flowing at all, like so, yeah. none whatsoever. Wherever the the blood flow is stopped, that's that's where the pain is. Mm -hmm. So it, it literally it's a blood disorder. So it can be anywhere there's blood flow. I've had pain crisis in my face before. Oh my god! I've had that it in my ankle. I've had it like <laughs> oh my, my Achilles tendon, just like oh. odd places. Like I've had. Have you ever had it in your eyes before? I have not, but I, I do get eye checks regularly. And I was about to ask you that about your eyes because I keep Very looking nice. at your eyes and they look tinted. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, every time I'm in the store, a nurse call me out. Mm -hmm. They look me dead in my face and they say, why your eyes, why they think they look yellowish? I'll be like, ma'am, can you get out my face? No. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> so, like, dang, like, can you get out, get out my face a little bit? Okay, um, so you, you said you got SS2. Yeah. Is it anything that you want to follow up on that uh, McCarty said, you know, um, since y'all both have the the same trait? I mean, I mean the same. Like I said, it's, I, I've had, I've had crisis, a uh, little bit of periwear. Can you tell me, can you tell us what a crisis is? 
A crisis is, um, they call them pain crisis. So it's, it's pretty much when your blood flow or just circulation has, you know, stopped in a certain area, which causes severe pain. And people don't understand how excruciating the pain is. Like she said, we have been dealing with this for like, you know, most of us like with all of our lives. So we kind of know how to deal with, uh, the, the harshness of it, but um, on the outside, it may not look like how we feel on the inside. So it's, uh, I've had a lot of like, you know, not only people, but doctors tell me like, you know, you don't look sick, you look like you're okay. <laughs> but, and that's um, actually, that's so actually that's one of my next crazy. questions <laughs> that I want to get into. Cause I know if you guys are anything like me, I've been dismissed before. Oh man, I've been put in the hallway. Dang. So, okay. So, 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 yeah. so let, 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 let me get into the question first. So yeah. my question actually follow up. Stress is a big trigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like my main trigger. That's the one right so, there. So, uh, <laughs> Like she said, I'm, I'm definitely, I, I like to do a little bit of everything too, but I've noticed like when I get too stressed out about something, it definitely triggers me. I have pulled myself out of crisis before. Uh, like I've learned kind of a little bit of meditation, uh, heat works for me, certain things, but like if, if it gets to my bones or if I get like too cold, something like that, I definitely have to go to the hospital. Okay, okay. Yeah. Makari, tell us about a hospital visit or oh. what is the having sickle cell in the doctors? Actually, I'm gonna ask you that again because I wanna record this question. <laughs> so my question again is, what is a doctor's visit or a doctor's experience like when you have sickle cell? Um, mm, let's, let's talk about the hospital visits first. Like, <laughs> want everybody to be like down to the nitty gritty, like the ugly truth that no one ever talks about. Mm, um, give us the, mm, the ugly. Being a sickle cell warrior and having to go to the hospital, we are not respected at all. Okay. We are not taken serious on any level at all. Honestly, sometimes you have those nurses and those doctors that will vouch for you, that will go, hey, like, I know y'all see her, she's in pain, like, help her out give her some type of medicine and assist her. But then you do have those nurses and doctors that just go, oh, it's just sickle cell, she'll be okay. And will walk straight past you. Yeah. Um, I've been to several hospitals on the north side of Houston and I do not recommend them, uh, Kingwood in specific. Yeah. They literally put me in the hallway. Oh, she and that truth, truth. <laughs> put me in the hallway <laughs> and put the curtain up and put like by the by the restrooms in the hallway put the curtain up and told me this is your room this is where you're going to be and i was there for about a week and that entire week i spent in there crying screaming asking for help i barely ate they didn't they never wanted to give me medicine until someone actually came up there to assist me and um that wasn't the first time, and, it, and I'm sure yeah. it won't be the last. And not to cut you off, but I'm not going to lie. I feel like sometimes they just give us medication or give us something to shut us up. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of, like, I've actually, I've had um, them think I'm seeking, like, pain yeah. medication. Like, mm. like That's I've, heard, I've heard like, that But before. I've seen them treat those that are really, like, seeking medication better than they will treat a single cell patient. Um I, honestly, I don't think a lot of these doctors are even aware. Like, I find myself educating them sometimes. Yeah. Like, I have to definitely advocate for myself because, like she said, they'll just leave you by the wayside. So, uh, you definitely got to advocate for yourself. It's definitely good to have a strong support system, as she stated. Like, um, and not to cut you off either, but I had researched and I had talked to a couple people, and I don't know how true this is, but yeah. somebody once upon once upon a time told me that they was taught in nursing school that African Americans can tolerate a lot of pain. See, that's so <laughs> I mean, I don't know how accurate that is, but I was I, somebody had told me that was fun. I was just I went like. To wasn't taught that but mm -hmm. we are looked at that way especially as an african-american woman mm -hmm. okay they see us in pain and they I'm don't trauma that and it's much. just like but it's like you wait but until it's too late yeah kind of thing yeah they, as our as trauma doesn't matter like she said as black yeah. women but also 
Um, I, I went to school for biology as well, but like when you read even about sickle cell in these books, it's, so it's, short. it's two it's sentences, short. so they don't know. Like they don't. It's not enough information out there. So like, yes, you're a doctor, but you the what you know about sickle cell may have only been that little paragraph that you mm-hmm. that you've read. I live with this every day, so you can't tell me how I oh. feel. You know, I say that every time, and you know what? I feel like that turns the milk on the inside when you tell them that. Like I'm, I'm living this. You're just treating this. Yeah. I'm, I'm living yeah. this truth. Like yeah. you're just treating this. So I'm telling you how to treat me, and they don't like to hear that. Yeah. My last visit, uh, honestly, they gave me. I don't know if you ever heard of it, kelp. I've never heard of kelp. That's a very strong medicine that they honestly are not supposed to give you. Really? But yeah. No. Not not when you're just having a sickle cell crisis. No. Now, if it's extreme to the point to where like everything they give me down from Dilaudid, Tramadol, yeah. things like that isn't working, then yes, they do give yeah, me But they gave me Dilaudid and Tramadol like twice, and then was like, oh, have you ever heard of kelp? And I was like, I would rather, I honestly told the doctor myself, I would rather have anything besides that because of how strong it is. Wow. And, and I'm not- she still gave it to me. And I'm not going to lie, that's what somebody else told Somebody told me that too before, because um, I know when I had came down here and got retested and everything, you know, took my test again so they could figure out what medication to put me on. Mm-hmm. That man tried to put me on six things. I said, no, yes. sir. Yeah. I said, I'll take them all. Y'all research. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When they give you them pill bottles, don't research your stuff. Yeah, because this man had me on all kind of crazy. I was like... Oh, no, sir. And I think I had ended up only keeping, like, uh, the vitamins that he was trying to get me to take. But it was stuff that was making me drowsy, stuff that made... It's like, literally, they be wanting us to just, like, lay in the bed and not do nothing. Yeah. They... Honestly, well, it's like, we can do that on my own. The stuff is like <laughs> cancer <laughs> medication. The ridiculous. It makes your hair fall out. It yeah. makes you, like, mm-hmm. more tired. They give you medicine that they know you're going to become addicted to. Yes. And then... When you come back and you're asking for that same they medicine it now, now it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. But they, but you've given it to me several yeah. times over and over and over, knowing that I would become a dead. A lot of that medicine, when you look it up, it'll tell you like be be cautious when taking it because you can become addicted to it. Yeah. And I can't speak for any other warrior, but I can speak for myself because I felt so alone, like you said earlier, because I felt so alone and because I felt like no one was gonna understand my pain mentally. There were times where I was telling myself, like, you're sick, take the medicine. And I was not sick at all. And I was constantly just taking the medicine. That's why I'm so into yoga now. That's why I'm so no pills, no pills, no pills, because I seen myself fall down, fall down that hole. And it wasn't pretty at all. Very easy. Not at all. It wasn't It wasn't a hole that I even wanted to see anyone else go down. Right. So um, when it comes to that medicine, yes, please be cautious. No, for sure. And then in research, I, I've just never been a pill person. No way. My It's just a trauma of mine from a childhood. I don't like pills. I just don't like depending on nothing. Because right. I know we probably going to get into uh, smoking our marijuana. But <laughs> I'm even trying to pull myself. If I'm really saying this on air. <laughs> but uh, they, listen, that's all I was going to say because I know we going to get into it. But, uh, like, I'm even trying to get my wing myself off of that. But my next question I want to ask is, I'm going to start with you, Simone. What do you feel like your triggers are? Um, as I stated, my main trigger is stress. Main trigger is stress. I also don't like the cold. Like, I'm, I'm okay in the heat a lot of times. Um, I could definitely find ways to, like, cool myself down, drink water, stuff like that. But the cold... Um, you know, as y'all, y'all probably can't see, but I don't have much meat on my bones. So if it gets to me, it's, it's gonna hit me. Like, <laughs> if it gets to my bones, it's a wrap. So, uh, cold, stress. Um, yeah, just a lot of like mental. It's, it's, I, I found like certain stress, it, it manifests into the physical. So. Okay, okay. And I actually wanted to answer this question too. Mine are exactly the same as someone else. <laughs> y'all, when I, y'all know I always talk about my spiritual journey and stuff, but when I started my journey, that helped. And then right before the, um, the show, I was talking to Miss um, Motivation. 
And I was telling her that um, when I had COVID, everybody had kept telling me, tell you know, the only way you're going to get better, change your diet, change your diet, change your diet. But y'all know a hard head make a soft ass. Yes, so <laughs> finally I had COVID and of course it was cold, like Simone said. So them two don't mix. COVID and sickle cell together, y'all, I'm in the hospital like, <sighs> like <help me." laughs> I'm in that New Year's. But I ended up changing my diet. So, but I can say that my two triggers are cold. Like, I've already let my friends know, like, hey, y'all got, like, another month to, like, really hang out. Otherwise, y'all going to be come, coming home, coming to the house and cuddling in the bed with me because I'm not about to be out like that. I know what my triggers are, so I'm not going to purposely go out to be triggered and then stress. People know, don't play on my top because, baby, you going to be the one man because I'm not about to get upset. <laughs> Bro, we would be looking at me oh, like, Tay, so, you, oh, so, so Tay, you ain't mad. Like, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta put my cousin on spot. Like, a week ago, my cousin, look, a week ago, my cousin just totaled my other car, just done for. Y'all, he called me and he was like, Tay. And I was like, what? Uh, y'all call. I said, is you okay? He said, yeah. I said, okay, well, just get your toe to the house. Like, what, what am I about to stress for? Stress I am too. not yeah, about to stress. Now, I was looking upside your head, you know, a couple <laughs> times. But, okay, so, let's look at all your same questions. Let's see if we all three got the same triggers. So, um, same thing. What are your triggers? Mine are um, majority the same. Uh, stress. Um, the cold. Um, but my biggest one that I've learned is uh, pork. I can't eat pork. Oh, I haven't eaten pork in like 10 years. I can't eat pork at all. I tried to, uh, what I did, I stopped eating meat for like two weeks. Yeah. And then I was like, well, maybe it's just the pork. So I went and I tried some pork and it immediately went into a pain crisis yeah. the next day. And I stopped, I completely cut pork out of my diet. Like I'm eating no pork, no nothing. I don't want any pork. It's just gonna make me sick. Uh, the change of weather, of course. Yeah. My cycle is, it has to be Ooh. the top one. How the hell we time. forget that? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Like, okay. How you throwing the game? Yeah, I feel like I just my cycle brings out like different sides of me, and I tell my friends all the time, like you might want to, you know, you everybody walking on thin ice, okay? Like like they say, you want thin ice, buddy, all right? Okay. So everybody Not is on thin ice when it comes to my cycle yeah. because I'm trying to deal with sickle cell pain, I'm trying to deal with cramps, I'm trying yeah. to calm my mood swings down it's it's a lot my cycle can be number one for me honestly okay i got a question wow. since everybody just kind of wiggled like <laughs> yeah. literally like, okay y'all do y'all ever have those moments where it's like you feel like you can't breathe when you on your cycle like that back pain hit on the other yeah. thing the, like okay i thought i was the only one but yeah my definitely my cycle is different y'all my cousin had to literally throw me over his shoulder before to take me to the hospital because i was literally stuck it was a point yeah. where like i wasn't even getting like like they say mainly we get joint pain and stuff mm -hmm. arms legs things like that it was a point where I was fine as far as sickle cell was concerned, but like every month when my cycle came, like that's what I would have to go to the hospital for. Yep. And that's so crazy because like that. as we get older, <laughs> it's, it's gonna keep changing too. So that's. Uh. Around my cycle time, I just take it slow. I people be asking me to do stuff. No, I can't do too much. No, I'm not doing too much. I'm old around this time, y'all. Leave me alone. <laughs> Baby, okay, so I know we didn't kind of answer this question, of course, just throughout having the conversation, but um, I'm going to start with you just how does um, how does a day, you know, for a warrior look like? What's your morning get up to yo, you know, I'm about to go home and lay it down look like? Um, <laughs> I start my day off with a blunt. I'm going to be very, very honest. <laughs> I have to be honest because I pulled myself away from the pills, but I needed something to soothe my pain. Okay. And with me being so busy, I have to have some type of like musa on my body. And I start the day off with a blunt. I don't smoke the whole blunt. That way I won't be like sky high doing <laughs> anything. So <laughs> I smoke a little bit, um, make my smoothie, um, and I go do some yoga. Mm -hmm. And the yoga really helps my body stay more relaxed of uh, when the day comes because my day is always stressful. And um, throughout the day, I try to meal prep as often as I can. 
because the meal preps help me mm-hmm. when I'm eating and I'm rushing throughout the day. And I always meal prep with like the most healthy meals that I can find online or whatever I find in like my little uh, Herbalife group chat. Okay. Um, and then when I get home, I do some yoga again because my day, again, was so stressful that I don't want it to attack my body. Now, before I got into yoga, I would just come home, smoke a blunt, and just lay down. But then I realized that the yoga was actually really, really helping me. As much as I don't want to do it sometimes because I just be so tired, mm-hmm. I realized it does help me a lot. So I'll come home, do some more yoga again, um, and then I'll actually smoke me a full blunt okay. to the point to where I am relaxed. <laughs> and then I chill at home and do whatever needs to be done. Okay. And um, yeah, that's this pretty much my cool smoothing blunt smoothie type of day. <laughs> yes. Oh my what? tea. Yoga. Oh, tea. Blunt, tea. Blunt tea, sure. smoothie, yoga. As long as I have those things, I'm good. Okay, okay. We sound about the same <laughs> when it comes to this thing because I'm not going to lie, that's kind of... I mean, I ain't going to lie, I can't do it in the morning because I'm a teacher, so I'll be looking at the kids like... Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I can't do it in the morning, but my, but I, what I wanted to say is I had a question. What is the difference in... Um, yeah, okay. What is the difference in, like, yoga and stretching? Because I stretch a lot. Okay. So, stretching is just like, oh, let me get this out of the way. Let me stretch my body out so I can just go ahead and do it. But no, my stress, I mean, look, my stress. <laughs> my stretches be like, I don't know if I'm doing yoga, maybe. You're probably doing yoga. Because they be like, uh. Yoga is like, you really taking the time out. Okay, to, yeah, I'll be. Uh, allowing your body to feel. Okay, okay, what okay. What you're okay. doing. So, you're not just like, oh, let me stretch this leg out real quick. Oh, you're no. like. How do I feel in this moment? Like you're breathing and you're taking your time. Oh, no, you're allowing no, no, no. your body to process how you're feeling. I'll be doing yoga then. Yeah. My booty muscles be cracking. Cause that's everything. how I started, honestly. I started off just stretching in the morning yeah. and I was like, am I doing yoga? Cause this kind of feels like yoga. Right. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, I've been doing yoga this whole time. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So look, I'm off asking y'all the same questions because I want to make make sure I get through <laughs> all of these because we got to educate these good people on sickle cell. If you are just now tuning in, the conversation has been going off the charts. Like y'all, I'm not a loner out here in this sickle cell world. So, um, so I just asked you just what is um the day in the life sickle cell look like? Like she said, blunt yoga, tea, um, all that good positive stuff. Um, so some of, what are some things you have to avoid while having sickle cell? Avoid, um, like Magarda, she said pork is just like a blue, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so, diet is actually very important. I just uh found that out, took me the um, longest, to but get yeah, that. uh, I haven't ate pork in about 10 years, but like even certain, certain different, different types of meat, so like, um. It's hard staying consistent sometimes, yes. but um, I had like a little vegan run. But um, like really, if anything, if I'm going to eat meat, it's really just like chicken or fish. Like, okay. And uh, we're supposed to eat a lot of green leafy vegetables. Um, I do too. And that's that's really where we get like we need chlorophyll because it's chlorophyll is pretty much like the plant version of like hemoglobin, I believe. So. Um, that that's what gives our cells. It, we we produce more, uh, you know, normal cells when we when our diet is is right. Um, like she said, I'm I'm actually like I'm tired a lot of times. Like on most days, like I'm very tired. Like, and I, I try my best to be normal because everybody around me they don't <laughs> they don't understand. You know, like how like I'm very like lethargic. Like. I don't have no energy. That's how I describe it. I don't have any energy. Um, so definitely diet helps. Given that energy, um, I discovered CMOS. Mm, um, I have I been know. hearing a lot I about that. So, oh man, I, I probably would have just slipped on right <laughs> I put CMOS in my tea every day. Okay. So that actually gives me a lot of energy. So okay, okay, CMOS, okay. Uh, you hear this? CMOS. Yeah, CMOS. 
Turmeric. Turmeric. Yes. Turmeric. Yes. Turmeric is. It helps. I know it helps uh, uh inflammation for yep. sure. Yep. So um so a conversation that I wanted to have, which I didn't put no questions about, but I really do want to discuss this friendships. Cause y'all, sometimes like my like I'll be telling my friends like y'all, I'm on the way. And then I'll be like, Y'all, I'm not coming. And I know like I had lost a couple friends because they was just like you know, you would do this with certain people, but then when it come to me, or mm -hmm. dang, you would do this, and, and it's just like, how do you, how do y'all go about explaining, you know, to your friends and stuff like? Because I feel like because they not experiencing it, and then you trying to tell somebody like y'all, my bones feel like they grinding against each other. Like, how do you make them like under like, and it's, it's not even make them understand, but how do you get them to understand? Because like I used to feel so bad, like I literally be at the door getting yeah. ready to walk out. And my body will say, go get back in the bed. Yes, I've been in the same position. Yeah. Um, honestly, my grandma used to always tell me all the time, you can leave the whole store, but you cannot afford to to drink. Correct. And when it comes to friends, when people want to be in your life, when people care about you, when people actually... Do Come on, I need to speak honest. up. So I can... <laughs> <laughs> say this one more she time. Girl, it'd be so hard trying people to. People want to be in your life when they want to understand your situation, when they want to be there to care about you, and when they really want to do understand sickle cell, they'll take the time out on their own without you telling them. They'll take the time out on their own to figure out sickle cell. I've been, I've had friends yeah. come and tell me, you know what, I seen you get sick, and I went and looked up what sickle cell was so I can help you. And then I've had friends that I've got sick in front of and they completely left me. Right. And that showed me right then and there what friends I needed to have around me mm -hmm. and which ones I didn't. Now, I may have had a better friendship with this person that walked away than the person that took the time out to search up sickle cell, but Correct. God is showing me that person wasn't for me. Correct. Because I was just going to continue going in circles with this person. Correct. You can't make somebody understand anything they don't Correct. 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 And, um, when it comes to, that's why I go so hard on educating people because right. I got tired of explaining to people like, I do want to be there. I do, I do. Right. I don't feel well and something happened. And the right people, they're going to understand. Now the wrong people, they going to throw their fits and they going to say whatever it is they have to say. But the right people who are supposed and to That's why I was you. so big on this show today. I was like, hey, just tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in. Because mm -hmm. I want everybody to be educated, like you said. And Darn, um, I had another question when you was answering it. <laughs> but did you have anything to attach to that, ma'am? Um, I've actually, I've been blessed with, like, great friends. So and I'm glad you started it off like that because now my question just came back. How how important is your support system? Yeah. So friendships also yeah. when having sickle cell. It's very important because um, like you guys said, we feel alone a lot of times, especially when we're in the hospital. All we want is somebody, you know, to, just to be there. Sometimes. Feel loved. Yeah, I don't make you cry. Like, um, to just to like, like, I've been oh, y'all yeah, making my water this. work <laughs> for real, bro. People don't be understanding how lonely that stuff be. It's like. very lonely. It's Ooh, very lonely. You know, like, the I water just, works in here. A lot of my friends have seen me, though, like, at my worst. Like, they've been the ones to take me to the hospital. Right. And they've been, like, and I'm apologizing to them, like, Sorry, y'all. Ruining the plans. <laughs> it's like, you're all right. You're all right. I'm like, no, ruining wow, the plans. Like, I feel bad a lot of times. It's my fault for, you know, uh, certain things. But now it's very important to have a good support system. Like a lot of my friends be getting on my ass. Like, girl, you know you need to wear a jacket. Bring your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh no, you're not about to do this. You're not about to eat that. Like, so, so like, ones that care. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh man, y'all got it out of me. Oh, I can't stand y'all. <laughs> but man, y'all, if y'all listening for real, like winter is coming. Make yeah, sure y'all check on y'all people that know. I'm telling y'all, uh, man. Oh, y'all done made me just hold on, y'all. Commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, um, what I will say back on to what you said about uh, that. A lot of people tend to confuse our pain with anger. 
Ooh. and that's where the loneliness comes in. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do. Uh, some some things do get me angry when like people don't respond the way like you want them you would to. think that they would. Yeah. Um, I've I've been blessed with like great friends, but like even in relationships, like I haven't had people that that actually take the time to care about. They they never looked it up or never like they just know I'm in pain and like I definitely feel uh, a I lot of times awkward like I feel you like you said a lot of people are well you don't have to deal with uh, you know people that are sick but honestly being a sickle cell it's hard I've had people honestly y'all don't stop talking I'm just <laughs> having a moment I'm just no but, you okay babe I'm good I've honestly. You. I've had people leave me um, while I was in the hospital, like literally break up with me while I'm in the hospital. And instead of instead of actually being there, instead of trying to stick it out, um, they just left. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that's where the anger comes in, that's where the pain comes in, that's where the, the crisis get worse and people yeah. don't understand that, they don't see that, they yeah. just think, Oh, she just, you know, taking it to her advantage and they don't understand, like, it's hard. It's hard trying to keep friends, keep family around, and keep a significant other at the same time. Like, yeah. you're barely keeping yourself around, you know? You barely, you barely have your mental together sometimes. Yeah. So, for me to try and convince all of y'all that, hey, I, I'm sorry, you know? And then yeah. being that I'm sorry all the time. I, I've had people. Like you're sorry. Yeah, right. I've had people tell me like, "Stop telling people you're sorry. Same. You can't. You can't be sorry for something you can't control." Yeah. And I've had to explain to them, you know, it's hard because people walk away from you so often, so much that you, you start to, to feel alone. like you're like, the problem. Yeah. So sometimes you sit there, you're going like, "God, what, what did I do wrong? Like, why do I have this illness? What am I supposed to be doing with this illness when people keep walking away from me?" And all I want is someone to stay close. And, and I think that's hard. why we love so hard. Because, y'all, I know my friends probably be getting so fucking tired. Oh, Ooh, I done cussed and everything. Like, <laughs> y'all, this thing got real, real up here. Y'all got me crying on live. Like, oh. Uh. <laughs> yes. And that's why I be, girl, like, if you call any one of my friends right now, they'll be like, Tay, hey, it's so. Because I'm only sensitive to certain people. But every morning, I'm like, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> like, bro, and let them not answer back within an hour. I'm looking like, um, why I you didn't answer you. the phone? Yeah. What's I'm wrong with you? Now I'm one point. Where the hell you what at? You <laughs> well, what you doing where you not answering the phone for me? I was doing this. I don't care what you was doing when I called why you didn't answer the phone. And I think that's just because we know that we like that. Because I don't give a damn where I'm at. I was in the middle of class teaching today, and one of my friends yeah. called me. I told him, why should I talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> went, to the, went to the restroom. I, what's, what's wrong? You good? Oh, you, okay, well, don't do that. You know I'm at work. Yeah. And you called me in the middle of class. I be rushing out thinking it's an emergency. Yeah. But, we love hard because that's, that's what we want. Man, y'all. Okay. We're about to finish that's this That's literally interview. like my most important like quality when I, I'm looking for a partner now is like, Who's yeah. gonna be with there with me? Right. I'm gonna be honest. I I had a moment where I <laughs> I kind of gave up on trying to find somebody who loved me. I'm I'm just now getting back to the point to where it's like okay, I want to try to find someone who loves me. But there there <laughs> yeah. was a very very long time where I would even tell my mama like I don't want you to worry about anybody taking care of me because I'm gonna do it myself mm -hmm. because no one's gonna love someone who's sick all the time bro if you well, didn't you just yeah, girl that i needed to hear that them. i think that is what them. is my yeah. issue because i i mean so yes funny. every day on instagram i love the hell out of myself but i cannot say that i am just 100 percent okay with my body type mm -hmm. like people do not oh. be understanding you coming up to me and telling me, dang, you skinny. Yeah, That's like just like going to a fat yeah, person yeah. and saying, dang, you fat. Yeah. I don't think people understand. We can lose 10 pounds in a matter of two days. Easy. I didn't done it so many Two. Times. I could go from 120 to 103 like this. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. 
Girl, when I tell you, just hit a trigger for me. Like, and I really think that's why I just don't. I don't be feeling like if I have a significant other, they gonna stay. Yeah. Like, are you gonna wanna deal with me being sick? Are you gonna wanna deal with me yeah. being moody? Are you gonna deal with me some days? I don't want you to touch me yeah. because I don't even damn near wanna touch myself. Yeah. Some days I'm really just annoyed with my damn self. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't cry to my my friends and stuff. Like coming out the hospital, I didn't lost 10, 15 pounds, and like I just, just don't look like me. Like. I'm not satisfied with how I look. How can I even want somebody else to, to want me, yeah. girl? And that that, that takes a major toll on your mental, yeah. especially being a woman. What? And I, like I said, it goes back to why we love so hard. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. The little things, the little <laughs> thing, girl. Yes, yeah, spirit flowing up the hill for sure, for sure, but. Man, this was needed. Oh my, and then I tell y'all I was gonna flow. It's already ten o'clock. Just like that. Y'all to make me have an emotional breakdown. Bro, y'all, y'all know y'all my sister warriors for life now. <laughs> After this camera go off, I'm about to hump y'all legs <laughs> and everything. Like I'm about to initiate them game game to game game. <laughs> Like, oh my God. And it, y'all, it's like I tell y'all all the time, God work in mysterious ways because me and McCarty, we always trying to get together. Literally, she'll be, I'm on the way, and then I'm not coming back. And I'll be like, you know what, girl, I'm just sick of your bullshit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm telling her the truth on air to you. I just, you know what, I'm just sick of your bullshit. <laughs> and me, I'll be at home, I'll be like, I know she mad at me, but she gonna understand. And that. then gonna go go watch my story. <laughs> But it's I'm like we've been trying right to now. we we met through Instagram. Like we became Instagram friends, I think, and then we just started messaging. I think I said something about sickle cell before and then that's how we started talking. We met up one time. Mm -hmm. Literally it was just one time and then we never meet up able to meet up again <laughs> till literally the, no 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 you came to an event. You came that's to right, the event. That's right. And then this time, so I just feel like what the past month we've been trying to get together and it was just, it this was now. needed because you just gave me something else that I need to work on. Like, Tay, it's not that you pushing, you know, me in the way because of them. It's really you pushing away because of yeah. you. Yeah. And you I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't, y'all, I didn't even know that. Yeah, like, I don't even have, like, I told you I'm not from here, so I don't have any, like, Sickle cell friends, like, right? Oh, really oh, and she's the plug. She know, know yeah. everybody. Yeah, <laughs> she got a group I chat. Don't know. And, they just be coming out the woodworks, but me being me, like the grandma that everybody just loves, I just be like, come on, baby, yeah. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> that's what I think. That's really what, like, when you say. You, you ask God, like, why us? Why me? I really think that's what our why is. We just, it's just something that we can't look at as a bad. We have to, yes, the, of course, the pain and stuff, but we just unique. Because I feel like we all bring a different light. Because it seems like you the light of, you know, the people you surround. You the light of the people. And I know when I walk in the room, they better all look. When God, when God, <laughs> when God takes something, he also gives you mm -hmm. something that's, you know, that's to supplement whatever yeah. you're lacking. Right. So, uh, yeah. Okay. That's what really brings us to light, honestly, because we experience so much pain. So we honestly just try to show others, like, y'all just got to enjoy life. Just yeah. please enjoy it and be grateful for the little things that they take for granted. What you complaining granted. about. Yeah, those yeah. little things that take <laughs> for granted. We're sitting in our rooms like, God, please, like, can I just have one normal day? Like, yeah. can I just have one moment? Can I just have yeah. one person? Like, we're asking for this one thing, and everybody is just so freely like living it and move, having those like, one move, things. Yeah, yeah. Be, you know, I think that's why we why we're the, the that light in the room because we're trying to show people like, bro, if y'all could experience the pain if that comes with sickle cell, like it's not even just a crisis at this point. Like it's mental, it's yeah. physical, yeah. it's it's it even affects the the people around me. Like mm -hmm. if I don't correct my aura, if I don't correct mm -hmm. me, then I'm gonna have a ripple effect on y'all. Like yeah. and they don't understand that sometimes. Yes. But they yes. do sometimes too. So yes. <laughs> Okay, so my last and final question that I wanna ask on sickle cell is have either of you ever had a blood transfusion? Oh yeah. I'm about to show well when we get off air I'm gonna show y'all a picture like Tell me about that experience. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't even know if that was due to a transfusion, but literally uh, my arm is still healing from like, um, I believe I did have a transfusion. Uh, I don't know what happened, my vein blew as you know, veins, my, my veins are terrible, but I just, just because I've been poked so much, I have a lot of scar tissue. They're small, they roll, everything. So it's, I didn't been poked. Girl, you ain't got, I don't think you got to tell us. I think because, baby, this arm try. is the strong arm right here. Yeah, we all have that <laughs> strong arm and then it's yeah. the weak arm. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, baby, don't even waste your time with that arm. Just go ahead, go ahead. That is exactly what I be telling the doctor. I, I'm telling them where to go because mm -hmm. it's like, girl, I look in the hand or look. <laughs> it's always odd places. It's like, but where you're looking is you're not going to find anything. Definitely. Um. But yeah, transfusions, um, I used to get them actually often when I was younger, more so. Okay. Um, and it's really, it's when your hemoglobin is low that you need it. So mine usually runs around 10, 9, 10. Um, that's a good standing. But I've had it drop to 4 or 5 before. Where, yeah, there's... You, you need a transfusion and um so you don't be like nervous or scared girl like i don't know why i'm so against the transfusion like i don't been I, asked I, and i've been like no i can understand why you're nervous i I'm, I'm gonna say this i've been blessed to have ss and only have uh two blood transfusions wow. that's that's a true blessing for me yes. and for anybody that has sickle cell ss because as many blood transfusions as they have, yeah. it, it's ridiculous. Some get them like every three months. Like I, yeah. I know a patient yeah. that um, she lives in Ohio, and it's it's cold out there mm -hmm. all the time. So we're definitely triggered a lot. They used to get them scheduled, like scheduled uh, blood transfusions, but it's so many side effects to that. One being the major is like iron overload. Yeah. It's uh, I, it's called IO. And uh, just the iron from all of the blood, you can't, your body can't uh, get rid of iron. So it just builds up in your liver. And that's a lot of times why we have uh, organ failure. It's just due to other things. It's, it'll be the medication or the iron in your liver or, you know, uh, heart, your heart, because you're getting all of these medications and mm -hmm. things like that. So it causes your organs to fail. So I think that's what uh, a lot of, uh, is a misconception too. Like um, I've known a couple people to pass away from sickle cell and it's usually not from the pain, it's from other things like pneumonia. Like actually that's why I stopped smoking. I used to get pneumonia a lot from the smoke. You still do edibles and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So you must see. I, um, <laughs> the reason why my, I've only had two blood transfusions is because my mom, even when I was younger, we were so serious about what I ate. And mm, yeah, just now to that. this, yeah, now to this day, I'm I'm so serious about what I eat. Like, if it's meat that I know I don't eat, I'm gonna. Like people will ask me like, why are you always picking at your food? Mm -hmm. I just I gotta always been picking. This me. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat much, and since I don't eat much, that's why I meal prep. Yeah. Because I know I'm only gonna eat a portion of, of this food, so I'm not even gonna overload myself. Because you know what golden chick is, right? Mm -hmm. Girl, I was eating that mess like crazy until one day I seen them folks have that chicken up under that lamp and just grabbed it from under that lamp and put it in my box. I said, y'all disrespectful. Mm -hmm. And fast food is a, is a major <laughs> Fast food yeah. is the quickest way. Fried food is free. Yeah. Because I do exactly what I Girl, I popped that chicken in, and it didn't <laughs> pop. It would stay together. I said, oh, no, nah, this old. Yeah. Uh-uh, I ain't eating this. Yeah, you, you really... And honestly, when I started being careful with what I eat and started, I stopped going to the hospital as much. That allowed yes. for my veins to get more Strong, thicker and yeah. stronger. So now when I go to the hospital, they're like so surprised. Because at my age, people are like, they got rolling veins and they can't stick them and they can't do high on their veins. But when I get up in there, they be like, oh my God, your veins are so healthy. I know because I stopped taking medicine. But I don't tell them that. I just be like, right? Right? Yeah, I don't even know how that happened. Just. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Okay, okay. Blood transfusion. Oh my goodness. These are terrible pictures because I have to post Look, we're going to look at them when we get down. I'm about to, oh, look, I'm about to look. You're about to make me. Look at y'all. That, that is still him, and I guess still y'all beat me up. Yeah. By the grace of God, look. Veins, they just, sometimes the nurses just stick you and call it a day, and then they don't realize when you're constantly pumping yeah. blood. That's why our arms and our legs are always so weak, because y'all are constantly, and then it's not like, little medicine. This is strong medicine that y'all wouldn't give to us over the counter. So if you're just constantly pumping this blood and fluid in my arm, of course my arm is going to be hurting now. My arm's still hurting a week later. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, because yeah, it's been nothing but strong blood. That's why my veins and yeah, stuff will pop. That circuit, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's too much. It's too much for that little thing. Bro, how many tubes do they be taking from y'all? Mm, Jesus. Y'all, that lady took blood. 10 like, tubes one day. I want the knock up across her head. I've never had that much. Like, Mine was you know, you 10. You take a drop and spread that, whatever. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. What y'all about to do with the rest of my you know, blood? Sick. Like, that's like, why you need to go. <laughs> you can do a little <laughs> sick. Blink, 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 blink. Yeah. You can live in. Yeah. Like, one nurse come in. She, she did, like, five. And then another ex came in back door, and I was like, y'all just took some blood. Y'all need more blood? She was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I let her slide. Then the third one came in. I was like, you know what? That's <laughs> that blood. I don't know what like y'all got going on. Because when I'm sitting up here like, <laughs> y'all ain't going to be able to help me. Left. Because, baby, people know when I come from the doctor, don't ask me to do, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go go to sleep. Because y'all know I already had this half is just nuts. <laughs> okay, man. Okay, so I guess we can wrap it up. Is it anything else that y'all want to touch on? That y'all, we already been in this thing for almost an hour. Um, Anything else? Yes, almost. It's, yeah. And actually probably more than an hour because um I started at like 9, 10. So we are just at an hour. So um, we're just going to do like the wrap up. If there's anything else that y'all want to speak on. Y'all, this has been an amazing show. If you are just tuning in, we are still discussing sickle cell. It is sickle cell um, awareness month. Y'all, I ain't going to say they made me cry. We made each other cry. I learned some new things that I need to go, you know, work on with myself. And um, I'm going to let these ladies close out. I want you guys to basically just, you know, definitely give something motivational. Um, I know you'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> give something motivational. You know, basically just a little summary of who you are and things, um, just in case there's people that's just tuning in. And give uh, where we can find you at on social media. And we're going to close this thing out. You can go. Oh, um, <laughs> um, again, my name is Makari, aka Motivation Mona. You can find me on Instagram at Motivation period Mona, um, or my sickle cell page at Life of a Warrior. Mm -hmm. um, I post as many sickle cell facts as I can every September. So if y'all haven't tuned in yet, catch me next September. We're going to be there every day for facts. Um, motivation, motivation. What do I have for you guys today? I'm gonna say this. <laughs> oh, I forgot to be born. Eric ain't see. They probably like, wait, what just happened? But she just did a random pause. Y'all, I had to tell her to pause because I gotta get this, you know, for the page. You know. hey, um, my motivation for today is no matter what you're going through, no matter who you are, always when you set your mind to something. Don't let anyone put limits on you except you. No one can tell you what to do. No one. I don't care if the doctor tells you you can't go and be an athlete. You know how many sickle cell people I've seen that are athletes? Yeah, don't right. let these people tell you what you can and can't do. If you put your mind to it and that's what you really want to do, then do that. And surround yourself with people that care. And God's going to show you the people that care about you. So those people that you're begging to be in your life, they're not supposed to be there. So let them walk. Let them Let them be. God is filling you with people who are supposed to be there. Accept those people. Tell those people what you have going on. Tell them about your illness so that way they have an understanding for themselves as well. And go from there. And continue to go. And don't stop 
until you until you tired, not until somebody else tells you you're tired. Yes, ma'am. And that's so period. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 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 right. Did you give them Instagram? Yeah, you got your yes. Instagram yeah, motivation. Say, okay, okay. <laughs> well, who? Um, hold on, Miss Simone. Let me, let me, let me um get this posted real quick, and then um. Oh, they sure Girl, gave me, I caught the Holy Ghost in my chest. <laughs> Little did she know, she only... You know what? I became that person just simply because I needed that when I, right. was, when I was going through it. So that's why I became that person. I became the person that I needed. And I don't think people don't understand that sometimes, like, even though we do need each other and we all connected, all those good kind of things, it ain't nothing like picking yourself up sometimes. Because, right. girl, I'll be up in that room, get, get your ass up. Get up, Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so same thing, something, just a little summary, you know, um, to wrap up everything, uh, motivation, and then um, where we can find you on social media. Definitely. So you can get you some old uh, sickle cell friend. Yeah, I need some y'all follow me. Um, my name is Simone. My at name is Sam, the number one rap, because I do do music. So um, that would be another thing for me. I feel like, like you said, God has the last word. We are not our disease. We are individuals, you know, just just need a little assistance sometimes and a little <laughs> understanding. But I would say it's very important to find an outlet, whatever that outlet be for you. Um, for me, it's writing, it's music. Um, it's definitely friendship, laughter, things like that. But find an outlet for you and... Um, you know, spread love, light, positivity. I'm about all of that stuff. And y'all, um, tap in, tune in with me. I'm always down to link up, you know. All right. <laughs> you always know when somebody finished, they'll be like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so y'all already know, like, it's me. It's <laughs> Nikki Minaj, Nikki Lewinsky, Nikki hey. Lewinsky, Nikki 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 but y'all, this has been an amazing show. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I think I even needed that little cry. Y'all, I had one in the lobby. I had cut a little two-step. <laughs> you know, real quick, like, the, the spirit was definitely moving in here. Like, man, I, I still feel like the energy in here is crazy. Um, friend over here. Shout out to friend that's the came. I know she hey. feel it over there, too. Hair is yeah. probably standing up. Hey. My man, it's been crazy. Um... Like I always say, thank y'all for tuning in. Anything that you have done to support True Tuesday as True Tuesday continues to grow, make sure you book your interview. This is definitely an experience that you cannot get anywhere else, only with Tayway. Y'all have a good night. Very good. Oh, uh, thank you. Girl, look, I'm trying to close. I should go to you. That's the truth. <laughs> thank you. Okay, y'all already made me cry, so no more than this. But y'all make sure y'all have a good night, and thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you.